but we're gonna ping the lemon. I want you to think about that, what you're gonna do, what you're gonna include, take that as the first challenge. A little bit off the center to the right side. And now I already know the location now. The next thing I'm gonna think about, how wide is the lemon? So I'm gonna spend a little time to thinking about that. And the whole lemon is center line in this direction. The shape is around the center line, right? Some of you express in your own projects, do I have to draw that many line over there? How I'm gonna get rid of it? And I'm gonna show you by the end of the painting, okay? You don't have to really need to erase the pencil after your drawing. You can do that after your painting. Now I'm drawing the shadow because I'm looking at the shadow, the dividing line from the light side and the shadow side is actually a little bit less than half of the lemon from my view. So I just put a little dividing line from the light side and the shadow side coming down over here and have some area at the bottom it is the reflected light. The light come back from the table. And I'm going to add the catch the shadow on this side. The catch the shadow is the shape of the catch the shadow is a little bit smaller uh, than the lemon uh, from the edge over here like this. That's good. Now we finish the drawing. The next thing what we're going to do, we're going to start from the light side of the lemon. And there's some highlight dry brush, use the texture of the watercolor paper to create that look. Okay, we're going to take the yellow color. Now get a little bit more yellow from here. Let's start from the top over here. And I'm going to watch that where is this the highlight area. I'm going to start it over here. And when I, I'm going to leave the area for now. And we're after I apply most of the color on the paper, and the brush will get drier. And that will be the time I'm going to do the dry brush. Right? Start from, start from the light side. Now, okay, over here, I can actually gradually a little bit off, a little bit get into the shadow side. And also in this little, um, little part on the end over here, I also have a little bit light on the top over here. Let's just put it there like this. And then let's see. Let's continue. So this area of the highlight, like that. You see that? That is how we do the dry brush. And then coming down to the bottom over right here. Now I'm gonna do some, do some dry brush on the top over here. So first I'm gonna get rid of lots of water. I'm gonna just put it like this. And I'm going to use the side of the brush. I'm going to see how you look. Create a dry brush. So you can see the highlight is just with some small dots together. Okay, leave it some highlight over there. I'm going to start working into the little shadow side and down here a little bit darker so I'm gonna get a little blue color and I already have some gray color over here it looks like a little bit warmer a little bit more yellow I'm gonna add those color in here now that's good it may be a little bit darker I'm gonna get into here this will be the color I'm gonna start from the top over here Move the color into the shadow side. Okay, it looks like a little bit warmer on the top over here. So I'm going to add a little red colors. And coming down. At the bottom over here, I have a little bit more, look like a bit more green. I'll come back to take a little more green colors. Like that. That's the middle tongue over here, but I'm going to do that later. Okay, I'm going to come back. 
continue into the shadow side. And I even include this side a little bit darker too. And when it get into the bottom, it has a little bit more yellow. So I'm going to add a little yellow color into the mixture. And OK, a little bit more yellow. Less other colors. And maybe even have a little bit warmer colors. Let's see, like this. So what I want to do, I'm going to continue into the catch the shadow. So let's see, I'm going to catch the shadow, look at the temperature, look a little bit warmer. And this will be a little warmer. If you're a little bit cooler, get a little bit blue color, right? So I'm going to look like that, a little bit warmer. So I'm going to get a little bit red in here. This looks like the color over there and now I am going to do I'm going to leave a little gap for now and I fill in the gap later because I'm afraid that the color would get into the lemon area and make the color look totally uncontrolled so I'm going to leave a little gap for now I'm going to continue working on the edge and the edge is get softer and softer. That's the other part of the catch the shadow challenge. Okay, so what I want to do, I'm gonna clean my brush. It's just the clean have a little water inside the brush and just soften the edge. Right? It look more as catch the shadow effect. Otherwise it will look like a piece of uh color paper uh, laying on the table. So we're going to soften that. The bottom over here has a little bit more yellow in this dark colors. I'm going to take a little bit more yellow and get a little blue and get a little red. And okay. I think a little bit more yellow, get a little bit more yellow in here. Okay, it's dark enough, looks like it's not yet. Okay, a little bit more, the blue and the red. I think this is dark enough. So let's see, we're gonna do it right here. And at this time, I think this is already dry. So I'm gonna move it, touching the bottom. Uh, the edge of the lemon, right, like that. It's good. And for now, now this is good, and we're gonna we're gonna soften the edge later. Now we're gonna come back to uh, the the lemon itself, right? We're gonna working on the light side again. Now let's see. I'm gonna use just the yellow color and working on that and create a transition. Okay, here you go. Like this. Going through it. Because the watercolor always look a little bit lighter after it dries. So you don't worry about that. Just put some color over there and you can come back to do the adjustment again. Okay, now the light side looked much better. But even though over here I want it to be a little bit lighter, over here you can use uh, lifting off and have the color a little bit softer. That's good, right? Now we're gonna come to the other side, the shadow side. Also need a little bit more yellow and Add a little bit darker color too, a little bit some yellow colors, and we'll come back over here. Now it's much better. Second time, it's always look better now. Okay, now this area also look a little bit darker. Here you go. Like that. Cool. Much better. When I come to the other side, it looks like I have a little bit more yellow than, than what we already have. So you can think about that. Is that need a little bit more yellow, a little bit more red? 
based on the color that you already have, right? It's pretty easy. Like this. And now we're going to use lifting up technique to light up the bottom. So what we're going to do, just use the water. But it's not as light as the light side because it's second hand light. So I'm going to have a little bit lighter. So you can suggest it that actually this area facing to the table. Now what I want to do, I'm going to add some yellow color back to the area. Because usually after the lifting, it looks a little dry. I uh, have some texture there. So I'm going to add a little bit yellow back here. Like this. Okay, good. And see a little bit uh, darker tone in the dividing area. And also at the bottom over there, it looks a little bit lighter too because I also catch a little bit of reflected light from the table. Like that. Let's get. And I'm going to add the one more layers in here in between the shadow and the light side in this, this transition. Make that. I'm going to go back to work into the catch the shadow. Okay, I'm going to take this color. Looks like I have some yellow tone. So this is have a little bit more yellow in this gray color. And I'm going to have it going through in the center of the catch the shadow. And now I come back over here, have even more yellow and in this in this area. It's usually this area and also have some reflected color from the objects. That's good. Now whatever left over is pretty simple. And now I come back over here at the tip it has a little that blue color, I'm going to take a little blue color, I already have it in here, and put that right there. Maybe a little bit darker, a little bit warmer in the center. So I'm going to take this color and tip, put it right at the center. I'm going to come back here with a big brush as you make it look smoother because it takes care of the whole big area instead of a small area. And I think it need more yellow over here. So yellow color integrate into the existing colors. After it drive, I'm going to show you how to remove uh, the pencil mark. We are going to pick up the pencils from the paper through the watercolor paint. And the outside here, if sometimes you might want to leave the pencil. It may be look good as a part of the final painting, but sometimes you may want it to see it gone. In that case, use the nitty eraser to gently dip up the pencil left over. Now how you lift up the pencil mark. 